all of his more than 60 years of architecture life, architect Francisco Bobby Manosa designed Filipino. From the 60s and his landmark design of the Solo Hotel until his retirement about 2015, he courageously and passionately created original Filipino forms, spaces with intricate and refined details. But what is most valuable is that Manosa was in the heart and soul of a Philippine architectural movement. He has developed a legacy of Philippine architecture, which is essential to our Filipino identity and at the same time, deeply appreciated and shared in our world today. Manyoso spent a year in Japan immediately after his graduation from college. Because his father insisted that he spend at least one year somewhere in the world, Manyoso opted to go to Japan, which had also inspired architect Frank Lloyd Wright. He was struck by the way that Japanese architecture reflected a consistent design which drew from Japanese culture regardless of how elaborate the building was, or whether it was traditional or modern. His wife, Denise, whom he married around this time, recounts that this experience inspired Manosa to pursue a design aesthetic with a similar consistency reflective of Filipino culture. Manosa was known for his advocacy of what has been called Philippine neo vernacular architecture. His design aesthetic incorporated Philippine design motifs and local materials such as coconut and local hardwood. Sa music ako, yung hili ko nandun, I realized when I took up architecture, ganun din ang feeling ko. Ay, ganun ang palaya. Uh, Pero anong bahay gagawin ko? At that time, nasa isip na namin. Caribbean architecture, Chinese architecture, Japanese architecture. Ano yung Pilipino? Babalik tayo sa bahay ko mo. Walang arkitekto yan. Ayun ang ginawa ko. Architect Francisco Bobby Manosa was a Filipino architect and considered as one of the most influential Filipino architects of the 20th century for having pioneered the art of Philippine neo vernacular architecture. His contributions to the development of Philippine architecture led to his recognition as a national artist of the Philippines for architecture way back in 2018. In his long career as an architect and national artist for architecture and the allied arts, he has produced a library of significant works that not only decorate the country with his advocacy, but also inspire a new generation of architects and artists alike. I believe he left so much knowledge for a new generation to inherit. I remember coming to Manila for senior high school and seeing his works at scale models when I was at the National Museum. And at that point in my life, I realized that despite being a colony from a small town, I knew I had to dream big and work hard just like him. Identity was always a debate in the field of architecture, especially in our country. But I learned from him that if you know your roots, you'd know how to truly create a step in the right direction of being a genuine architect and a proud Filipino. In fact, when he was asked if he had any advice for our young architects, he said, I hope they can be all proud and practice Philippine architecture. It is their job to help guide their clients in appreciating our culture. I hope they can love their country above all and help it however way they can through their craft as proud Filipino architects. One eye must see architecture, the other one must feel. There's no other way you can decide, you know, you must feel it, you must know you are a Filipino.